Chica Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? It has been a minute since y'all seen my face. I apologize. I have been very, very busy. Um, my evenings have just been taken over by me trying to get ready for my trip. And I am vlogging my, you know, kind of like my packing my suitcase type of stuff. I'm vlogging a few little issues, not issues, but a few little things for my preparation for my trip. I'm not sure when I'm going to post that. It, it, I will probably post when I come back. I don't know. I may do some phone, you know, just some intermittent, intermediate phone vlogging throughout the trip and try to kind of get it to y'all. Okay, what is this mess right here? Is this a... Okay. Um, there's a car sitting over the house. Like, it looks like a cop car, but then it's got all these signs all over it. I don't know what that mess was about. But anyway... So, just to fill y'all in, I do apologize that I kind of like went missing in action. Um, it's just that I didn't really intend not to be posting videos. Um, I do have a couple in my pipeline. But, like I said, life just got really, really busy all of a sudden. And um, I am trying my best to get situated for my trip. I've been staying at work late. So, it's just been a, a bit of a mess. So, anyway... But in the interim of all of that, I read an email from one of my subscribers. Because y'all know this girl will be going to that post office every day because <laughs> girl don't have no mail. So I don't frequent the post office. But I was told that I had a little package at the post office. So right now, I'm on my way to the post office because I I'm going to be leaving within the next few days. I need to get this post office trip out of the way. So, that being said, I am on my way to the post office. I thought, you know what, I'm going to vlog this a little bit, get it on my iPhone. So, I am vlogging on my iPhone, and then I'm going to upload this tonight. And, um, yeah, so I will be, I have someone staying in my house while I'm gone, so I'm all excited. She's going to be overseeing some things for me. She's house-sitting. So, um, my house will not be unattended. So, anybody watching this video think they're going to rob me. <laughs> it ain't happening. No, I'm just kidding. But, anyway, um. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so anyhow, um, I thought I would get this vlog in and I will post this tonight because I can post for my cell phone pretty quick. And so you guys will know what's going on. And like I said, I do apologize from the bottom of my heart that I just, I just didn't anticipate things to get so hectic so fast. And they did. And um, I, when I get home tonight, like I said, I am doing some of that vlogging of like me packing my bags and talking about what, what, what I'm taking and all that. But um, that video is probably, that particular video is probably not going to go up until I come back. So, oh, and by the way, y'all, let's talk real because y'all know this girl is about as real as they come. I right now have on my pajama bottoms. I have on a pair of, <laughs> I have on his sandals. I have on some, um, the, the little booties that keep your feet warm that are like 50 million colors that don't match my pajama bottoms. And I have on my black work shirt from work that I haven't taken off yet because I started getting undressed and I was like, crap, I meant to go to the post office box. I'm looking a hot mess, y'all, but you know what? This is real life. This is real thing life, y'all. Y'all know I told y'all. Y'all, What do I always say? Girl, to keep it real up on this channel. So, anyhow, let's get out of this car and let's... Uh, Ooh, it's hot in here. I got the heater going. Do y'all know that the freaking temperature dropped like you would not believe? Like, when I tell y'all the temperature dropped, y'all, the temperature went completely cray-cray. I don't want y'all to see my license plate number, so I'm kind of putting y'all down here because my car is right there. But uh, no dogs allowed inside postal lobby. Service dogs only. Well, I don't have either, so. But, yeah, so, um. Uh, we are at the post office now. Okay, what's my number? There we go. I'm all trying to use my work key to get into my mailbox. Oh, okay, I can't show the address because, yeah. So this is my package that I got in the mail and it came from CW. Um, so she mentioned to me that she had sent me a package and I was like, oh my gracious, I have got to you know, open it up. I got to get there to the post office because I didn't want it to set while I was gone. Um, so I'm excited. So as soon as I get in the car, we're going to open it up. Y'all want to see what I got on? Y'all, don't y'all laugh at me now. Hold up. See? <laughs> oh, 
when I told y'all, I'm so glad that I finally got comfortable. Like I was just like, you know what? I'm about to be myself on this channel. I'm about to do my own thing and be for real and all that good stuff. And that's what I'm doing. So right now, this is what the girls is looking like. So yeah, you like it and don't like it. All right. So here's my package. We're gonna open it from this way. Bless your heart, CW. You know you didn't have to do this. this I did not. I did not give you a birthday gift to get anything in return. But I will tell you this much: I appreciate whatever it is. It doesn't matter whether it costs a dollar, and it better not cost a million dollars, girl. But you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to do this, and, and I do appreciate that you did something for me. And I'm gonna open this, and it's gonna be heartfelt, and I'm so excited. But please know, and to any of my subscribers, y'all know I'll joke and tell y'all I want some mail. But most of the time, I'm, you know, when I say I want mail, I would just love to come to the post office box and have cards. Like people just telling me, hey, what's up? You know, it's not about any, you know, getting like gifts or anything. Unless somebody want to send me that Louis Vuitton bag that I want. Now, I ain't going to lie. Now, if any of y'all want to give me that, girl going to take it. Because I still want my delightful bag and I want it with a passion, Okay. I want it with a passion. And I, nobody has given it to me yet. What's wrong with y'all? Don't y'all love me? <laughs> so anyway, let's see what I got. She's so precious. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gracious. Okay, see y'all, don't get me to crying in here because y'all know it's hard sometimes because y'all touch my heart. Let me make sure that's what I thought she got me <laughs> that's what I thought I was like I know it's gonna be that color and it she, oh, and she even got oh. <laughs> CW thank you so much sweetheart you did not have to do this y'all know I tell y'all over and over again what's my favorite lipstick in the whole world it is this one by meet Matt nude um, meet Matt Hughes I should say and trustworthy and she got me my lipstick so y'all know this this gift could not have been more appreciated oh my god this is like my favorite color in the world i love this color cw thank you so much sweetheart oh my god you're so kind and then she got me a gift card to trader joe's y'all is that not precious a gift card to trader joe's like Thank you so, so much. You did not have to do this. I am so appreciative, though. I am so appreciative. And every time I put this lipstick on, I'm going to be thinking about you, girl, because you know for sure I absolutely love that lipstick. And then she even got me a card. Thoughtful, helpful, always there. Nice, kind-hearted, supportive. I won't read out what she wrote in her card to me because I like to keep those things really personal between me and that person. But I will show y'all the outside of the card. And CW, thank you so much. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Like when you guys do little things like this, it just means so much. Like the card alone would have been all I needed. Honestly, all I needed. Because I just need to know that when I sit in front of my camera, that I'm doing somebody some good. And because I do feel like it's some kind of calling that I have. And I feel like I can't, I can't push it away. I have to do what I have to do. I was having a conversation with one of my subscribers. And I can't mention her name because I don't like to put business, people's business on blast. But um, we talk on the phone often and... Because, you know, we, some of us have, you know, we have our little, <laughs> we've exchanged the phone numbers and stuff, but we were just chatting about my last video that I did. And, um, I share a lot with her because we kind of share a lot back and forth and, and, um, you know, it's, I still don't know how to, I, all of this to me. Sometimes it is becomes very overwhelming to me because sometimes I really be telling myself I can't do this like you know I'm tired or whatever and then something happens and I find myself um, where I, there's a force telling me get in front of that camera say what you got to say and when I start speaking it's like it comes from somewhere and I don't always know where it's coming from 
But what I do know is that everything that I say in front of the camera I, is coming from here. Um, when I say I don't know where it's coming from, I don't know where the strength comes from. I don't know where, you know, like how, you know, where, you know, I know I'm feeling it in my heart, but how do I get there, you know? And um, it's the same force that I had when I was working in the club, which I think I've, sh I don't know, I don't even know how many of y'all know the whole story. Maybe I need to do one of my story time videos on that. So you guys, some of my new subscribers, some, my inner to outer beauty people, uh, my inner to outer beauty people, um, they know this story because they knew me back when I was working at the club. But some of my new subbies might not know this, but I worked at a club, at a nightclub for several, several years. And I was so attached to my young girls and, and kind of being, you know, that second mom to them and kind of keeping them from, from going astray when they were out there in the clubs partying and, and making sure that if they had too much to drink that they had somebody to drive them home. It's a long story and, and I probably should do a video on that so that you guys will have an understanding. But I would try to quit that job for various reasons because I was working and then on my feet and y'all this is going to be messed up and I'm just going to keep on talking because y'all just, you know, because of this whole glare thing going on. But, um, Sorry, y'all. It's just, it's just an emotional time for me right now, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But, um, you know, I would try to quit because sometimes I would be so tired. I'd get off work and there was a lot going on in my life during that time. Um, that was when I lived in my apartment by myself during that time. And it was just a lot going on. And some nights I would be so tired. But then I would think about those girls and who would be there for them. And I would find myself packing my little bag because it's you have to know the whole story but I had a thing that I had to do and there I was and I would be there every weekend and uh, what made me finally say that I was going to quit is when I came back and I said that I would no longer work that part time job and bring money into my home because I was tired of being the more responsible and I wanted I just wasn't going to do it anymore my son was getting out of the military and it bothered him every single time I went to this part-time job even though he knew what I was doing was good it just bothered him because a he didn't want me out in the wee hours of the morning and he knew that you know he didn't want he just didn't want me out and he didn't want me he didn't feel like I should be the one bringing in the extra money and this and that and whatever but I always told him, I said, God forms a shield over me every time I need to leave that club. And I always felt, I never felt threatened or scared or like, God, I just felt like God got it behind the steering wheel every night. And he, because he knew that I was doing good, that it wasn't, you know, that, 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 that I was there for a purpose. And so I was driven home every night by God and placed in the comfort of my own home every single night. So I'm very thankful for that. But I knew that it was time that I needed to give it up. But I kept saying, I can't just, I feel like I, I, I miss the purpose. Of course I missed the money. I ain't gonna lie, because it was some good money. But I missed the purpose. And I feel that God gave me this purpose. So he kind of likes exchange one for the other. That's all I'm going to say about it. But you guys know, please understand me when I sit here in front of you. I love each and every one of you so much for so many different reasons. Like we all have, like, like I said, I get emails from different per people and we chat and, you know, it's awesome. And, and, and we have our own little thing, each one of us. And, um, you know, I guess this, it's like all of a sudden gotten warmer or something because now I'm hot as heck in this car. Really, I was about to freeze to death. But, um. We all have our own little thing between each other, and it's always going to stay private. I would never, ever put anybody's business on blast. I never will use names. I will use different things just to get my point across, but I, you guys know I would never use a person's name. Um, and, uh, but uh, I just, I don't know. I just, I just need to start talking now because I'm just starting to ramble, and I'm just, I just, 
want everybody to know just how appreciative I am and, and you know checking my mailbox today like I said if it could have just been the card and I would have been equally as happy but that lipstick is truly my favorite it, it just makes me so happy because when I tell y'all there are a few things that really really make me happy you know makes me happier than all get out is when someone pays attention to me meaning you know like when I like the, the fact that I have said so many times that that's my favorite lipstick in the world because it truly is like I really love that lipstick and the thought that it was gifted to me means that someone knew and paid attention to the fact that that was one of my favorite lipsticks and that means so much to me because people often do things based on what they feel you should have or what they um, what they want you to have or you know not so much that they they have placed you in that and you know like they put they, they've said that and they've listened and they know what really makes you happy um, there's a reason behind what I'm saying but I ain't gonna get all into that right now and this isn't geared towards y'all honestly don't y'all be thinking like she's saying we don't pay attention to her or nothing like that it's not this is all my, a personal issue that I deal with but when I have someone that don't even know me other than seeing me get on this camera but know that she pays enough attention and she thought enough to go and get this lipstick because you know I don't know where she lives exactly but um, I also know that this you know like if she went to a store to get it she had to get in her car and drive to it if she ordered it online she still had to take the time to order it online so that meant that not only did she pay attention but she thought of me enough to take that little extra step so that means a lot to me y'all a lot to me when I go to Trader Joe's and use my gift card I'm gonna be like the proudest person in the world because I'm gonna and I'm gonna hold on to the gift card after I spend it because I want I have all my little treasures every one of them because they mean just that much to me so anyway I need to end this thing now because I'm going on for 17 minutes about to be 20 minutes before you know it and I'm getting closer to my house again so I need to get my bum bum in here and I need to finish packing I'm hungry it's all get out so I need to eat me some food as soon as I get home I'm telling y'all it is weird because all of a sudden it's like super hot in this car as if like the weather just turned back off to be um hot it's weird but anyway it was cold I mean like the wind was blowing it was cold but anyway okay I have messed up my makeup not that it was looking any good but it's really messed up now But, um, like I said, I'll be vlogging with you all throughout my trip. Um, a lot of it will probably be on my cell phone because... Whoa, 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 the water on the street make the car go spin, spin, spin. The water on the street makes the car go spin, spin, spin. All the way home. <laughs> y'all go crazy. All right, y'all. Girl has got to get off of here because I'm like, see, now about to be 20. Like I said, might as well go for 20. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of y'all. I apologize. I always seem to get emotional. I'll be trying not to do that. But you guys know from the bottom of my heart how I feel about each and every one of you all. And if anybody's watching for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and become an official chicken pie. Hit the notification bell so that you can hang out with us. We are truly a great group of people. We spread love, we spread happiness, we spread, we spread joy. We don't do no foolishness on this channel. So we keep everything real and we have a lot of love to give. So go ahead and come on in and be a subscriber. We welcome you. And to all my returning subscribers, God bless you. You know I love you and thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, see that.